Hey folks, we're back at the big table. We got it going on. Tropical. Another tropical feel. Totally different in all crystal. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Thanks for coming by guys. I think you're going to like this. Let's look at our inspiration today. First, I want to give a hello to Sharon Williamson and her family out in California. And John Smith out in California. And who else have we got? Ken Knight in Estonia. How about that for a little further away <laughs> we're using all crystal so there's no color in crystal our only color is going to be in the runner and our florals today so here it is twelve cedar table the tropical we're gonna do three arrangements for this long table because they're gonna be smaller. They're not gonna be quite grandiose because it is a tropical table. So we've got our EAPG crystal in a basket and two upright vases, which you saw in our thrift haul. So let's get our florals on. I've keyed off the colors in the runner, of course. Let's start with the basket. I want to get the Fiddler Fern element in, as you see I do for summer or tropical fields. Alrighty, that's more reasonable. Just want that kind of up and behind. We'll go with these yellow. And we have our Frajapani again. bit loud but there's only two of those in the whole table. We'll have a whisper of lavender. You know we can't hardly get away without one or two. Slightly formal and in this basket we have our Sakuma ginger. There is pink in the runner, so I had to go dig up some pink. We'll go with this cute kale lily. Maybe two. Now I'm all for formal balance, but I don't like twos in an arrangement. <laughs> you guys know that. Anyway, if I can help it, I just don't want it. All right, that's what it needed, the one in the back. So I've got my runner centered and I'm gonna put our basket in the center of that. Then I got our beautiful square faces and they're tall. So yes, I want a pair. So I'm going to mirror image each one of those. A little long here. And probably, possibly one fern each. Let's try it. 
You see, I have no clue what I'm going to put in here until I get going. I want to try this lighter wisteria. Let's see how that looks. I'm liking that. Put these berry element in here. This berry branch. So you see, I'm doing a left and right. Left, right, vase. So the berries are on the inside of the table. Just to help you understand how I'm thinking when I put this together. Now our real showpiece here is the Plumeria Frajapani. So that'll go in the front. Maybe a little more yellow here. And what I do on the left, I'm going to do on the right. Let's look at a calla lily here. This is the cutest color ensemble I've seen in a while for a, a runner. You probably wouldn't think of those colors going together, but we're going to work with it. That is the main inspiration. So, Kayla Lily's facing left and Kayla Lily's facing right. And our another showstopper piece is the blue iris because there is some blue in the parrot in the runner. Oh man, that's, that's cute. I get that to stand up a little bit more. And I already knew I wanted some lavender in here. guys so I didn't like the blue iris here and I put another ranunculus in and I think I want to go with these in the middle to tie them Here is our place setting for today. Gold charger. I want it to be distinctive to show off our crystal plates. Now we're getting that 100% cotton napkin with the gold ring on the plate. And I like to do about a 45 degree pointing to the wine glass. We got a tropical table, we need some tropical fruits. Two different crystal bowls. This is the EAPG example, three footed. 
and this is your French in the what they call the antique. Now you heard me mention these before, but here is butter dishes and the lid is depression glass in the Madrid pattern. In the bottoms, we didn't get with those lids, but I'm using my mother's wedding present pattern dessert plates that you saw me just find in a thrift hall. Now, that is the head of the table, believe it or not, I'm gonna give myself a clock so we know when to eat. And finishing up those dessert spoons. And we have a vegetable server. A wine carafe. And we just have a ton to get on this table. So we, we have some sweet yellow peppers. We'll have to squeeze in our cheese tray. You gotta have a salt and pepper toucan. <laughs> right there, guys. Now, most of the food, you've heard me say it before, but for anyone that hasn't heard it, we typically do buffet style. So, only the extras are on the table. We don't need a lot of room on the table. Now we're gonna have green onions. So we're all gonna get a little personalized salt cellar. We love dipping in those green scallions. Some people call them scallions. Some of you kids out there know all about it. Now I'm not sure, but I'm afraid. I'm gonna have to take you now and show you all around.
So folks, if you liked our video today, give us a like, a share, a comment, give us a subscriber. <laughs> Thanks guys. We appreciate you. Take care everybody. Enjoy your summer now. You know the time's moving along. I've been accused of being the timekeeper. <laughs> Something about it, I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> Take care, folks. And we'll see you in the next elegant, over-the-top, 12-seater dining table.